my latest update on my trailer. There she is. On my previous videos, I had these aluminum racks here. They ran per, uh, perpendicular to the trailer. I ended up cutting the bottoms and bolting them in. And this thing is solid. This was from a, a member on Stripers Online who was giving it away. Needed a little bit of fixing up, um, but it's really good condition. I said to put a couple rivets in it. It's lockable. I have the key. It fits my beach dolly and the wheels, life jacket, paddles, all that stuff. I can also strap the outriggers to here, which gives me a lot more room in between here. There was some rubbing when uh, before when it was sitting up against the hole. The uh, pontoon was sitting up against the hole, or ama, if you will. Put some reflective tape on here so that people driving at night can see me and not hit me. All in all, I'm very, very, very happy with it. It came out, I think, really nice and practical. Yeah, man. Now we're in business. Now I don't have to put so much stuff in the back of my truck. Let me go ahead and open it up, the uh, cargo box, so you can see inside. Now here's the cargo box opened. 42 centimeter wheels. PFD, beach dolly. I mean, I can still fit more stuff in there. Paddle. Rod holders. The, uh, oh yeah, let me show you this too. I came up with this for the, uh, I gotta test it out, but I came up with this extender to go on the end of this so that when I push this under my kayak, under the kayak, I can, this becomes an extension piece on there. I can stand on this and then grab the front of my, you know, the, the front of my kayak and pull it towards me without the beach dolly sliding forward. And that should be enough to get me that should be enough to get me right where I need to be. And all that is is a uh, one inch PVC with an inch and a quarter. I didn't have any glue so I had to rivet it but it just sticks right in there. You can see the one inch as a stopper. It's a stopper. So yeah, I think that works out pretty well. All right, that's it.